you know, conservation, uh, the environment, all, all of these things are really important to Kittitas County. We have a lot of resources and a lot of public land. Our landscapes are really diverse. Uh, we have everything from, you know, alpine mountains to high desert valleys and, and uh, everything in between. And making sure that we, uh, you know, invest in uh, the future of those resources, I think is really important to our economic future as well as our quality of life here as residents. Well, right now we're actually still pretty close to the beginning. Uh, the flood control zone district was only formed in 2012. And one of the first tasks that we had was really to get good science to collect a lot of data that didn't exist. We wanted to make sure that we were making data driven decisions. We also had to do a lot of analysis on, you know, what were the problems that we were facing and what were causing those. So we had to have a good understanding of the problem before we could design solutions. We've done that and now we're working on, on uh, we've designed the solutions and now we're working on implementing those. Well, I think the biggest challenge is really trying to find ways to work with others so that everybody wins. You know, you have people who are interested in land development, you have folks that are interested in fisheries restoration, you have others who are interested in just uh, ecosystem uh, and habitat improvement. Uh, you have a lot of recreationists out there who want to make sure that there are mountains and trails and open spaces to enjoy for the future. And we have to find a way to collaborate and work together with each other so that we can achieve everyone's goals. Sometimes that means giving things up uh, uh, on one side or the other, but we don't want to do it in a way that there are winners and losers. We want to try to make sure everybody wins. So uh, personally, I, I'm, I'm an outdoorsman. Uh, I love to recreate in the outdoors. I'm a hunter, I'm a fisherman, I'm a hiker, I'm a bicycler, I'm a camper. Uh, it's a way of life for my family. It's one of the reasons why we choose to live in the area that we do. And, um, you know, we're passionate about making sure that uh, those things are available for everyone uh, today and for tomorrow. Well, it was good. Uh, it was good for everybody. It was good for our community. It's good for the environment. Uh, it's good for the fish uh, and it's good for the future. Um, I think every elected official uh, wants to be involved in things that not only solve problems of today, but make a better future for generations of tomorrow. And this project really does that. It was really a no brainer. Well, as a county commissioner, we have a lot of interests uh, in everything that's involved with the projects, but the county's real role here is as the floodplain manager and as the operator of the flood control zone district. Um, we collect the taxes that pay for the projects and pay for the analysis, and we have to collaborate with all the other organizations uh, to put together projects that are good for the environment, that are good for fish, and that are good for the people that we serve. Well, I think the ultimate desired outcome is a safer environment uh, for the people that live here uh, and a better environment uh, for, um, you know, the river, for the fish, uh, for the wildlife uh, and the ecosystem as a whole.